Facebook has quietly introduced a brand new AI image generator that's designed to compete with Midjourney, Dolly, Magi, and some of the bigger AI generation tools. I'm gonna to show you how to access the super secret link to start playing with Meta's new AI image generator. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different prompts that'll help you get started on the software. Let's get started. You can access this new feature from desktop or mobile. This is the desktop version, and you can visit this by going to the super secret link, owenvideo.com slash AI Meta, and that will redirect you to this link here. And you're gonna wanna save that so that you can access this again because Facebook is not advertising. Now, on the right-hand side, you see all of these images here. These are examples of images that have, you know, presumably been generated through this generator. And then over here is going to be your prompt area. And this is where we're going to get started. Notice it says log in to generate here. That's going to solve itself. As soon as you click this, it'll log into Facebook. So you may want to log into Facebook from your desktop before you jump into all this. That might help you just kind of get moving. But let's dive in deeper with the generator. Now, what we're going to do is super simple is you're going to come over here and you're going to type in your first prompt. So I'm going to type in something like two guys watching their online video go viral and we'll hit log in to generate and boom instantly i've got an image here and i've got a few different options so i can share the image first of all by clicking on the arrow there or i can download the image by clicking on the the three buttons over here but if i scroll up take a look at this Meta is actually giving me a couple different examples. And, and one thing that I think is really interesting is, is notice the diversity in the images, right? Like I didn't tell Facebook what type of guys to put in here, but it's giving me options. And I think that that's uh, really neat. I, I even lo I love this one here where it's got the video in the background here. So what I want to do now is I want to try remaking this image and seeing if I, the AI will stay with me in a conversation. So I'm going to say remake these images using two females and click generate. And the results I get for this are not spectacular. It looks like it started a whole new prompt and didn't really take into consideration the prompt I had before. Now, obviously, I get a couple of different neat designs here, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So obviously, you're not able to interact with the software at this point and dial in the images that you were getting produced, which means you're really going to have to work on getting excellent prompts. Now, here's one thing I want to look at. Let's take a look at what we can do with sort of famous people or well-known people. So I'm just going to go with everybody's favorite politician. I'm going to go Donald Trump dressed in a tuxedo on a boat and I'll hit generate and we can see that this image can't be generated please try something else now I wonder if that's because of Donald Trump or what the case might be so let's just say something like Jesus walking on water with a tropical background behind him let's see what happens over here my guess is it's going to say the same thing yeah and sure enough this image can't be generated so we like this software so far but what we're learning is is that it's not going to be a software for you to you know go and pull someone's face or make silly faces like a lens avatar or anything like that this is going to be something that primarily can be used for creating YouTube thumbnails or Facebook posting images or even blog posting images. Let's try another prompt right now and let's see if we can't dial it in to get something that we really, really love. Man standing in a jungle next to a white Jeep Wrangler and this is in homage to the brand new Jeep Rubicon that I just bought. I love this car. Let's see if I can get some fun Jeep images out of it. Oh. That is super dope. Let's take a look at the different images that I got there. I love it. I'm getting these like different ethnicities of people in the image that really gives me a chance to, to sort of play with it. I love these images. Uh, let's try something like this. Mexican American standing in a jungle dressed like an explorer next to a white Jeep Wrangler. Let's see. And let's see what, what Meta is able to put i love i love it it's like a federale essay like it's good uh i love it right there so this you know it's getting it's obviously not going to be a picture of me but uh we i definitely wanted to see if i could control the the ethnicity of the people that i was putting into this software and it does look like 
Facebook is allowing me to do that. Of course, um, these look uh, just super fantastic. So I'm going to just change this one more time. American man standing in a jungle dressed like maybe that'll give us something that uh, more closely resembles who I might look like. Uh, oh, I like this guy. He's obviously got wider shoulders than I do, but this is looking pretty good, man. I, I'm really enjoying this. Like th this looks to me like a quality image that I would be happy to use on Facebook or as a blog post image if I needed to do that. Let me show you one more key feature of this software that no one else is going to show you. We discovered a feature where in Messenger chat, you can slash imagine and type in your prompt right there inside of Messenger. And here's what happened. So I typed in Meta AI slash imagine two guys watching their online video go viral. And then Meta AI replied with this image. Then I was able to respond to Meta A AI and actually dial in that image in a back and forth sort of way as you're seeing in the images in front of you right now. Look at this command right here. Remake this image with the man smiling. And as I did that, it kind of got me a whole brand new image, but it shows that Facebook is working on a feature where you could dial in these images for a brief moment this weekend, it was available on Messenger. As I'm gonna try it right now, there it is. Meta AI asks questions. Let's type in a prompt right now. A woman in a red dress overlooking the city of Los Angeles and boom, look at what I get right here. No, you know what? I got a better idea. Remake this image in a post-apocalyptic setting. I can't wait to see what Meta does. Oh, super, super dope. I love this image. And again, I don't, I don't even need the image right now. I just love that I can do something with this image. So remember that as you guys are playing with this, you can go to imagine.meta.com. I put a link in the description box below. So go play with it. And while you're doing it, be sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel. We are here to help you start thinking like a seven-figure channel. My name's Owen Video. Geek out on some videos. I'll see you in the next one.